So I was 26 beta 6 just came out. Of course it happens when I'm on a vacation, but you know your boy had to go ahead and drop a video on it. Now number one, the very first thing I will tell you is that iOS 26 beta 6 came out very quickly after beta 5. So beta 5 came out when Tuesday, so not even a week ago, and we're already on beta 6. This is exactly what I'm talking about, what we need from Apple. We need Apple to go through and kind of push out these types of software updates super fast. I don't want to wait like three weeks for updates in between. Apple needs to just kind of fail fast and drop these types of updates, and that's exactly what they're doing right now. Now this update was about 2.33 gigabytes. I had no problems installing it on my iPhone 12 Pro. It came out pretty normally. You can see it says this beta gives preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies. So just gave us some kind of roundabout things, but this update actually brought a lot of stuff to the table. Number one, you know when you kind of update your phone and you're trying to look for things and you can't really find anything that they change, you just kind of you know look online and see what they change and look at those features after. This was one of the rare updates where I noticed an improvement before I even looked at the release log online or saw people talking about it. There is a new way Apple basically goes through and opens up these applications. So when you kind of look at it, it might not look like over the thing that it's like a big difference, but these applications load up, at least get onto the screen much faster than before. So that was something that was very surprising. There's a new animation. I don't know if you're able to tell, I'm kind of trying to show it, but on an iPhone 12 Pro, again, this is a 12 Pro. This is not like an iPhone 16 or anything like that. This is a 2020 phone. And the animations are much faster when opening up an application. Now, the speed of the phone is the same. Scrolling through everything is the same. The same thing at the when you scroll down in the liquid, you know, the notification drawer, it still gives you that weird approach and then scatters out the applications after. I'm still not a fan of that. Hopefully, Apple can fix that in the future. But the new app opening is very interesting. It's very reminiscent on macOS. So the kind of how macOS kind of opens up applications, it kind of like tosses them onto the display and tosses them back out. That is a new change. I noticed that immediately, and you will probably experience that too, which is actually super sick. There's also five new ringtones inside of our settings application, which is really cool. I think one of them sounds really nice. I think people are really happy about these. So there are some new ones here, which is actually very cool. The camera application, the scrolling texture going back and forth is now updated again. So now it scrolls through normally like it does on iOS 18. So Apple was trying to do something new. I don't even know what they were trying to do earlier. But now they changed back and reverted back to the older type of layout, which I'm way more of a fan of. And another small thing, you might not notice this if you kind of just quickly set up your iPhone. But what I notice is whenever I update my iPhone 12 Pro or any iPhone on iOS 26, I get this kind of weird issue where it just kind of like hangs in the front display. This time it didn't glitch up. The main, you know, setup screen was actually pretty normal and it didn't have any glitches. There were some slow times, but, and also sometimes when you actually go through and type in the passcode on some applications, it's kind of crooked. So it's never like in the middle, but otherwise I'm actually pretty happy with the way this particular phone is holding up on iOS 26 beta six. It's been like an hour or something that I've been able to kind of mess around with it. And I would still not recommend installing iOS 26 beta 6 on any phone, but it actually has gotten better, which I'm actually pretty surprised about. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.